girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a tutorial on this look. Now, it was meant to start out as a Christmas tutorial. I, yeah, I dived into this thinking it was going to be a Christmas look. And this is how it has turned out. I still really like the look. I just don't know if people would wear it for Christmas because it's like purple and gold. But I hope you still enjoy the tutorial and enjoy the look. I did use the new Makeup Revolution Bold as Brass palette. Now, this palette cannot be purchased. It comes free online with a purchase on superdrug.com you have to spend 12 pounds on makeup revolution online to get this palette so i thought i'd use it today because i did get a couple of requests to use the new kind of free palettes from superdrug so if you do want to see this tutorial then definitely keep on watching okay girl so let's just jump straight into it so this palette is exclusive to online it cannot be bought you have to buy 12 pounds worth of makeup revolution from superdrug.com to get this palette for free and i wanted to use this one because it is my favorite out of all four that was released but like i said this one is online only the rest the other three you can get in store and out of the ones that are in store of course fierce as fire is my favorite it has those gorgeous warm tones it also has some gorgeous berry tones down here the highlighters are absolutely stunning i was so close to using them both in this tutorial but i thought like they can't be bought together one's in store one's online so i thought i might as well just use one and out of the two i decided to go with this one because it's got a black in it and today i want to go for like a smoky christmasy type of look so the first shade i'm going to go in and take they don't have any names so I'm just going to point to the shade I'm going to start with this one here which is kind of like a mauve purpley color and I'm just going to use that as my transition in the crease I have already primed my eyes using the Tarte paint pot no <laughs> that's wrong the Tarte lid lock eyeshadow base I'm going to start by patting it on and then I will begin blending but I love the whole theme behind this collection in terms of, you know, buy something for £12 and get something free. Because my mum was actually buying her friend a Christmas present and she was asking me, like, what should I get? This and that and this. Because her friend is really into makeup. And I told her to get this and that. And then, of course, she, she just got the palette for free. So it was like an extra present for her friend, which I think is amazing. But, of course, this deal will not be around forever. These palettes are limited edition. So if you do want to get your hands on it, I believe it ends actually i'm not quite sure on when it ends but it's definitely gonna end so you need to get your hands on it quick also guys let me know your thoughts on uh, lash extensions because like i said this is my first time having it and i'm not thoroughly enjoying it i feel like it's just i said this to my friend i'd rather just rip off my lashes at the end of the night spend two minutes putting them on in the morning than the extra stress of trying to clean around the lashes i mean i've taken out so many lashes just by trying to remove my makeup the struggle is real like i'm pulling the lashes like this and i'm trying to clean it i take a cotton bud i'm trying to clean like the eyeliner away and the eyeshadow away but honestly guys it just takes out so much lashes and i'm just not loving the whole process of it and to me i'd rather just stick on a pair of strip lashes and be done with it at night time but they look cute don't get me wrong when i have no makeup of course i look a little bit cuter but it's just not worth the hassle in my opinion so the next color i'm going to take is the purpley color right here it is also matte it's just a little bit darker than the first color that i used and i'm also going to use this into the outer v and crease i'm going to put it actually all over the lid to kind of get ready for the black so these colors are super pigmented just like every other makeup revolution palette I mean for the price actually forget the price it's free <laughs> me personally i think you should try get one of the life on the dance floor palettes which are 10 pounds then get a matching lipstick to go with it which are three pounds that's already 13 pounds and then you qualify for the free palette so that is the purple so far now i'm gonna go in with I'm trying to decide i think i might do a halo eye today actually rather than a straight up smoky my next move would have been to put the black all over the lid as well but i feel like maybe to put the black on the inner and outer corner and then a shimmer on the lid okay do you know what we're just gonna do it we're gonna put the black on the outer and inner corner and make like a halo spotlight eye guys do you know what's so funny yeah lately i've been getting a lot of comments correcting me on how to pronounce words like it's really not that deep girl if i say one word one word wrong like it's a youtube video i'm not presenting the news like girl calm down <laughs> and it's funny because sometimes i'll see like my subscribers come back and say to the comment like girl calm down it's not that deep like so what if i said the word asks wrong like i say asks what 
and what you know exactly what i'm trying to say it's funny guys some people get so upset about things <laughs> and it's like girl there's worse problems in the world you know that right but yeah this black is super pigmented i'm loving this eye look so far so now i'm gonna go back in with my previous brush and just gently blend the edges of the black Oh, also regarding AliExpress, guys, because I did get tons of questions like, is it a trustworthy website? Honestly, I've never had a bad experience with AliExpress in terms of shopping from there, um, using my card, all of that. There's never been any problems for me. And everyone was a little bit worried about trusting the makeup products themselves. And the way I see it, guys, like people kept saying, how do you really know that's the ingredients just because they put it down? But then again, how do you really know about indie brands? Like everyone will see your instagram brand and be like oh my god that looks so cool let me buy it you'll purchase it without thinking twice but how do you really know the indie brand has good ingredients in there because i mean they're not regulated by anyone they're an indie brand like they've literally just popped up on instagram selling things you don't know and it's the exact same with aliexpress like they put the ingredients you can either trust it or you can't but like i just find it so funny that people doubt chinese makeup brands but all of the uk usa brands are made in china so it's like you trust them because it's a US company, but all of their products are made in China, but you don't trust China. Hmm. Like if you check the small print on every single makeup product, apart from like foundations and concealers, they tend to be made like either in the USA or UK, but they're not really made in China. But eyeshadow palettes, girl, trust and believe me, they are made in China. So honestly, like, of course, be wary of fake makeup, but dupes on AliExpress, go ahead, girl. They are real brands. They're just Chinese brands. But anyways, enough talking about AliExpress. This video is about makeup revolution. So for my lid, I am torn between these two colors because they look like the bloody same. This is a highlight and then this is an eyeshadow. Let me swatch them. Okay, so the texture is completely different, but the color is like exactly the same. This one is the eyeshadow and then this one is the highlighter. I think I'm gonna use the eyeshadow version just because it has a little bit more of a deeper tone. And for my shimmer eyeshadows lately, I've been loving using my Sigma Large Shader E60 brush. It just packs on the eyeshadow perfectly. And I'm also gonna dampen my brush using the Primark Priming Water. And I'm just gonna plop this color straight onto the center of my eye. Wow. Oh, I love this. This is like a brownie gold. I took the wrong brush. I used the shimmer brush to blend the crease. What were you thinking, Tammy? What were you thinking? Let's just hope it blends away. Okay, that's gonna have to do. I don't think you can tell, but yeah, I'm loving this eye look, guys. I knew this palette would be amazing. I'm loving the smoky dark colors. I'm gonna go off camera, do the rest of my face, and then I'll come back to put one of the highlighters on my face. I'm not quite sure which one because these two look a little bit too deep for me, and then these two are really light. I might mix like this one with one of these. We'll see when I get back. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, girlies, mine back. So here we have the final look minus highlight. Of course, on my lips, I went in with two Patron glosses from Patron Cosmetics. I used the shade Baby Girl and Baddie, which looks like this. And of course, I used the Glory Lip Liner by Makeup Revolution because I use that every day. But that is what is on my lips. I do have a discount code for Patron Cosmetics. I think it's Makeup by Tammy, but I will leave it down in the description box in case you are interested. But yeah, on my inner corners, I did go in with that highlight there and I mixed it with a tiny drop of this color, like literally one dab of that color because I wanted this to be more of a deeper gold. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with highlight and I'm gonna start with this shade, but I'm gonna dab it in to this one a little bit, just a little dab like that. I'm just gonna mix it basically. And I'm just gonna take my sponge and kind of dab over that so it's nice and blended in. Okay, so there we have the highlighter. It is very gorgeous, very golden, which I love. So I'm gonna take that same shade and just put it down the center of, I'm gonna use my finger for this actually. Use my finger and like apply that shade to the tip of my nose. Okay guys, so here we have the shade applied. It is a beautiful golden shade and I do like it, but I've mentioned in a couple videos, I'm not really a highlighter lover just because of how much texture I have on my cheeks. Like even when my skin is doing great, no spots and all of that, I still have texture and I just don't, I'm not a fan of highlight, but as this highlight stands, it looks beautiful, the color's gorgeous, and yeah. 
Okay, so I know I said this was gonna be a Christmas look, but it doesn't really look Christmassy. I know my outfit looks Christmassy. I came prepared to do a Christmas look, but it's not giving me Christmas vibes. I don't know, let me know down below what you think, but this was meant to be my Christmas tutorial. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, girlies, that is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care, bye.